Nasic viewers and subscribers and welcome to a new episode in my series of ranking every single season of Doctor Who from 1963 down to 2022. So this is going to go on to 2023 because literally we are in 23rd place and we've got a long way to go till we get to my number one. So what is in 23rd place of this series? Well, this series, it's not the best series, but I really enjoy this one through the worst ones. Never got over the best ones. So in 23rd place, it is no other than Doctor Who Season 11s from 1973 to 1974, starring the great John Pertwee in his last ever season as the third Doctor. And of course, we are saying hello to Elizabeth Sladen as Sarah Jane Smith. Also in this season, we are saying goodbye to the Unit family, technically, even though they are like in two, in two technically, story, well, three stories in the Tom Baker era, but this is the last time Unit basically is part of the series because then they're in robot and then they kind of fade during the tom baker era so technically this season is the last outing for the unit family and john pertwee is bailing out as the third doctor during this season so this season contains over five incredible stories which is the time warrior you know the invasion of the dinosaurs the death to the daleks the monsters of paladon and of course planet of the spiders so what can I say, what I really enjoy from this season, what is the high note of the season, and what is the downside of this season? Well, the weak story this season, and I'm saying this is really weak because it's got really bad CGI. Uh, when you read the target of a book and your imagination's fantastic for it, it's got to be Invasion of the Dinosaurs. The strongest story this season is the Time Warrior. I'm sorry to say that, but the Time Warrior is definitely the strongest where the Invasion of Dinosaurs is the weakest. The story that I enjoy more than most people give it credit for is Death to the Daleks. And the best story for a... And the best, basically, goodbye story, which probably is Planet of the Spiders. I really did enjoy this season. So we have John Pertwee back for the last time as the third Doctor. We have Nicholas Courtney back as Brickadale and Alistair Gordon Stewart for the last... Well... For the third time as a basically regular. We say goodbye to Captain Mike Yates. And of course we say goodbye to Sergeant Benton. And hello to Sarah Jane Smith. Because after this Sergeant Benton's only in Robot. And of course in another good story. The Terror of the Zygons in seasons 12 and 13. And then that's it for the unit side. Where this is basically the last time they actually are like regulars. Because all the John Perry era from nineteen seven from season 7 down to this one. is basically the, old, the units like part of the regulars. So I'm going to talk about each story and what I enjoy from. So the first story of course is The Time Warrior. Which aired on the 15th of December 1973 to January 1974. I really enjoyed this season. Now this story introduces Sarah Jane Smith as a good companion. And of course she always becomes... A fan favourite, staying with the third Doctor and then of course literally like two and a half seasons with the fourth Doctor. And then of course, this is the very first story introduced the Santarans as well. And I really enjoy this story because it's brilliant, it's really great and of course it's a historian episode as well. Set in the Middle Ages. So Strax, Lynx, sorry not Strax, Lynx has basically gone around kidnapping people from the 20th century to transport them back to the Middle Ages to make them work for him to create weapons for King Iron I really do enjoy the story. This is a fantastic historian episode. I love the way the Santoran basically crash lands and names Earth for the glory of the Santoran Empire. I really enjoy the story. Planet, um, sorry, the invasion of the dinosaurs. Uh, what can I say about it? It's good. It's really got a good story, but the CGI really lets it down. And I've watched this like three times and I'm hoping for the Blu-ray because I'm really hoping we get better. This is the story I really think for the Blu-ray would actually benefit for the new CGI effects. I really do like this story, but it's just the CGI. It's really terrible. Like when you kind of got John Pertwee facing over a Stegosaurus Rex. And then when you got that big, massive T-Rex crashing through the wall. Yeah, that's just bad. That is just bad. Now, this is a good unit story. I do kind of like the story telling in this. Because my ca ca Captain Yates, who we all know and love from Season 8... Basically betrays Unit and the Doctor and the Brickadier and... Wah, wah, he's gone. Bye bye. I really do like this story. It's brilliant. The next story is, of course, we go to an off-world. Sarah Jane's basically first trip to an alien planet and they arrive on Exelon. Where, of course, they are trying to find 
what's basically caused the TARDIS to materialise in this kind of mysterious planet. And we have the Exolons, like, you know, the big goggly eye things when they're walking around with cloths around them. And the Daleks invade this planet as well. But they lose their weaponry for a little bit. But unfortunately, they get, like, little machine guns added onto them. So they're going to go around exterminating the people on this planet. I do like this story. It's brilliant. I love the fact we've got humans from the further future. It's a really great alien planet. It really does use like a quarry setting really, really well here with it being like filmed mostly in dark. I love that creature. I don't know what it's called. The big alien creature that hides in the lake. And when the Daleks come out and they literally shout exterminate, exterminate. And the creature literally just goes into the Dalek casing and it blows up when the Dalek basically drowns. I really do like that scene. This one is really, really good and it's really, really great. And I, I really just love it. I just absolutely love it. So, and then the next story, of course, we go back to Paladon from season nine. And where the Doctor and Joe basically met Kim Paladon, we basically meet his daughter. So basically we go a little bit more further into the future where the Ice Warriors have gone back to their old win. win Villainous ways. Yes, the Ice Warriors are now the villains once again after having very good redemption in the Curse of Paladon. And of course, we have Alpha Centauri back in this story as well. The Paladons are quite good. I like how they're using um, the Minotaur thing. I can't remember its name. Aragon. That's it. Aragon, the Minotaur, like to try and scare the Paladon people to do whatever they want. And then, of course, the Doctor interferes with Sarah Jane. They have a bit of a laugh at the end of it when the Doctor grabs her by the ear saying, in you go. And of course, they go off back to Earth. But I really do enjoy this story. It's a great way for the Paladons. And I do like the Ice Warriors because, again, they go... It was pretty cool that we kind of seen them go into more of a nice, good way in the Curse of Paladon. But for them to backtrack back into their venomous ways that they were during the Troughton era... Brilliant. I have to admit, absolutely brilliant. And then, of course, the last story of the season is, of course, Planet of the Spiders. Set on two different alien planets. We are, of course, Earth in modern day. And, of course, we go to Metabelius 3 yet once again since season 10 in the, the Green Death. Now, what's going on with this story? Well, we've got a big giant spider that wants the crystal that the Doctor took in the Green Death. It's literally found a way to hop back into Earth's history to try and find the crystal which is basically the doctor because he gives it to joe grant she sends it back to him some kind of weird wacky die die dies while looking into it and then you kind of see spiders and everything and he's just looking into it and he's going like that now i actually do love this because john pertwee gets some fantastic helicopter chase where units they're driving bessie he jumps into the humobile goes after lunton and then of course we have an epic boat, boat trace. And of course, because of the spider on Lutton's back, he manages to jump from the boat back into the mosque sort of thing. Is it the mosque? No. Um, Meditrin... Meditrin... I can't remember the bloody name of it. I'm sorry. But I also do enjoy that story. I really do. I love the way how we kind of have another Time Lord. And is of course, this one the Doctor really got on with because it turns out to be... The actual time lord that the doctor met on a mountain on Gallifrey, and he actually taught the doctor to be, you know, the way the doctor should be. I really do enjoy the story, and I love John Pertwee's lines. He, he literally, I mean, he goes, A tear, Sarah Jane, now don't cry, don't cry. And the way he dies, and so, and then you've got Chanfo, and then it's actually Compulsion, Roland Pulfe, and she goes, He's wrong. The Doctor's alive. No, you're wrong. He's dead. And he literally goes, I shall give the shelves a little push and he shall regenerate. He will become a new man. Literally. But he will look quite different. I loved when Nick as Courtney goes as the Brigadier. Not again. <laughs> because he's literally seen him. Because he actually encountered him during Charlton's incarnation and the Pertwee era. So he's, and this is time he actually witnesses a regeneration from the Doctor. Now, the one thing I have to say what causes the third Doctor to basically die, because he does go back to Metabellus 3, he does give the giant spider the Metabellus crystal, but he ends up giving him radiation poisoning, and the radiation poisoning does actually kill every single cell in his body, and he gets lost in the time vortex. The TARDIS brings him back, and of course, he collapses onto the unit's floor and joins into the great Tom Baker, my off-time favourite incarnation of the Doctor. I mean... Would you like a jelly baby? So, season 11 is, of course, in 23rd place. Now, if I could say what are the three best stories in this whole season for me, 
Well, it's definitely the Time Warrior and it's definitely Death of the Daleks and, of course, the Planet of the Spiders. The weakest story is definitely the Invasion of Dinosaurs, but that is literally for the CGI effect. That's the thing. I really don't like the CGI effect. That's why I consider it to be the weak point of Season 11. So, let me know in the comments what do you think of Season 11. Is it one of your favourite stories? Let me know. Please do like, subscribe and share and join for more awesome Doctor Who content. And have a cracking day tomorrow.